One thing I never understood was the condensers, capacitors that are in the point systems. I know you had to have one there, and I was always told that they uh, help your points live by soaking up some of the sparks. But I never really, I never knew how to test one, and I really didn't understand why they worked. So John Grady did a write up, and we've got it on the web. Distributor condensers and how to test them and which ones he likes and which one he doesn't. For instance, he likes this style. This is the older style. And this style he does not like. With the rubber cone in there. So, how do you test a condenser? Well, you got to have a voltmeter like this one. It's called an analog. Most people don't have analogs. Most people have this kind, which is a digital, and this just won't work. I don't know why. I'm a mechanical, not an electrical engineer. He says, go put it on maximum ohm scale. And then we're just going to take the test leads. We're going to put one on here, one on here, doesn't matter which way, and watch the needle. Let's see if I can do all this with one hand. So, I'm going to touch this to the condenser, and you watch the needle. And doing this while I'm holding the camera. It's pretty unspectacular. Here we go. See that? It jumped up, and then it went back to infinity. That is a good capacitor. Now, if you're going to test it a second time, you've got to discharge the capacitor. So just, you know. And a second test. Hold on, it's not very exciting. Here we go. Good capacitor. Here's another one. Testing. See that? Jumped and went back. Good capacitor. One more. Good capacitor. See, I'm on this scale here. Just for kicks, I tried it on the 100 scale. Nope, doesn't work. Got to be on that scale. And that's how you test for capacitors. Thank you, John Grady. Now one of us, and that would be me, needs to get outside and trim grass. It's great to be Bob.